stands actually and he actually witnessed something like that so crocodiles are very much opportunistic they will eat anything they will eat birds they will eat pr other predators they will catch water buck they will catch inyala literally anything that they can they will eat but particularly in this area and actually the thing that crocodiles feed on most is fish catfish big tilapia vundu depending on the type of fish that you get in that area they will feed upon and uh, the only thing that they do do is obviously when you have those massive migrations crossing the massive river channels then there's a definitely an opportunity almost an easier opportunity to try and catch a mammal crossing a zebra a wildebeest a buffalo whatever it may be and then there well there's big fights between the crocodiles over the carcasses Now, Reese, you're wondering how the crocodiles mark their territorial boundaries. That's a very good question. I'm, I'm trying to think now. I don't know if crocodiles are very much territorial. I'm sure they have their spots, but every time I've ever seen a crocodile, I've never just seen one. And when you go to Zambia, you see them lined up on the banks. Um, so this area is probably the best area we've got in the northern Sabi Sands to see crocodiles. Is here at Chitwa Dam. And then you go down towards the Sabi and the Sand River where they're very much... Uh, prominent and again down there you don't just see one you see crocodiles of various sizes uh, sitting on the banks and I'm sure that those smaller crocodiles are careful and uh, sort of watch what they do around the larger crocs because remember these big Nile crocs can get in excess of five meters and they can weigh close to a ton so they can really really get massive and something that large will be particularly old and not many things will want to mess with something of that size, except maybe a hippopotamus. A big hippo bull, I think, would challenge a massive croc any day of the week. Just wriggling around. They've got the most.